think Rick may be eyeing a, a, a big money position with that company. Well, they have a lot of, well, they're spending a lot of monies in certain ways. Yeah, but... He went and hoard out TNA for a few years. Yeah, but see, here's the thing. Like I said, I'm an old country boy from the hills of Virginia. Yeah. And uh, what made that group think that if he sued Vince and becomes successful at it, what made them think he won't do the same to them? Very I'm going to tell you a quick story. I'll tell you a quick story. Sure. They're a little bonnie rabbit going home. Boogity, 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 boogity. They got across the street and said, help, help me. So he turned around, he looked in the road, there stood a great big old snake. So the bonnie rabbit, being of good nature, went over to the snake. Boogity, 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 boogity. Brother snake, what happened to you? The snake said, oh, that gum, one of them human beings came along in their wagons and ran over me. I think my back is broke. I can't move. He said, oh, man, I'm sorry. You're having a bad day. He said, yeah, but he said, well, anything I can do to help you? He said, now that you mentioned yesterday, can you help me out of the road? The bonnie rabbit said, well, I don't know. You're a snake. He said, oh, look, my back is broke. I can't move. He said, I can't cause you no harm. He said, I just want you to move me out the road so I don't get run over by a, another wagon, by one of them humans. <laughs> so they Bonnie Webb grabbed by the tail, drug him over the ditch. So well, I'm glad I'm able to help you, Brother Snake. They said, whoa, 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 wait a minute. You can't leave me here. I can't feed myself, can't defend myself, can't do nothing for myself. He said, if you leave me here, I'm surely going to die. He said, do you have a place I can lay up at until I get well? The Bonnie Webb said, well, I don't know. You're a snake. He said, look, I can't hurt you or nothing. He said, I just need a place to rest up, and then I'll be on my way. He said, okay. Bonnie Webb, being a good nature, grabbed by the tail, drug him to his den. Finally, the Bonnie Webb went out there, what he got to do. A couple of months went by, the snow started falling, and Bonnie Webb decided he's going to go home and, you know, hibernate. He saw the snake curl up in the corner. He said, brother snake, how you doing? He said, don't say nothing. Bonnie Webb said, maybe he didn't hear him. I get a little closer. He got a little closer. He said, brother snake, how you doing? Snake still don't say nothing. So the bonnie rabbit said, well, let me get right up to him and talk to him. He got right up to the snake ear. Said, brother snake, how you feeling? Snake rears up and bit the bonnie rabbit. Paws and rushes through his body. He rolled over on his back, getting ready to die. And then the bonnie rabbit said, brother snake, when you were laying in that road and you need somebody to help you, I was there for you. When you need a place to stay, something to eat, I gave you food, I gave you shelter. Why did you bite me? The snake said, well, you knew I was a snake when you brought me home. So maybe the other organization is going to say, well, well, we know you sue people that help you. So what makes us think that if, you, if we help you and something goes wrong, you're going to sue us? Once you set that precedent, you know, for yourself, you know, just like if I was a woman, I would not marry O.J., I wouldn't let him take another stab at it. Yeah, no pun intended. No pun intended. This is Mick Foley. This is Harley Race. This is Shelton Benjamin. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Lorndorf. This is the Monster Abyss. And this is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL and you're watching the MWF. Be there live.